Hey people, assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all well. Today, I will be making a chicken curry. Well, chicken mince curry. And I will share the recipe with you. So bear with me. And um, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't done so. And if you have, then thank you very, very much once again. So today I will be cooking in my go cook casserole dish and um, I've already shown you in one of my vlogs. I purchased it a few months back from Tesco's and I'm starting off with chicken mince, two grated onions, well sliced with a v-slicer and then a few tomatoes. As you can see there's uh, three cherry tomatoes and there's a few uh, mini plum tomatoes and here I've got four garlic cloves grated and um, a little bit of ginger grated as well and I've got two potatoes diced in uh, big cubes and then I've got coriander I just wanted to show you this I've got cor coriander in some water in a jar I just wanted to show you how you can um, keep it fresh for longer and keep it healthy because when once you put coriander in the fridge it just uh, withers and wilters away very very quickly and then the leaves turn brown really um, quickly so my mum taught me this she's actually um, tried it and it's worked for us so now I always put my coriander in water so I just thought I'll share that tip with you so I hope that's gonna benefit at least someone somewhere so I've just started off with um, some oil in my casserole dish and um, I fried the garlic and ginger together and I forgot to mention before that you will need need two bay leaves a few um, cardamom and about two or three sticks of cinnamon so now I've browned off the garlic and ginger paste I will well I've just added the grated onions that I already uh, prepared earlier and now I've simmered um, the onions in the oil um, I've just added salt to taste so salt is something that um, is supposed to be um, added to preference so you can add as much as you like I don't really say a measurement on salt because everybody likes it different so as you can see I'm just pouring um, kettle water well I've got boiled water in the kettle so I've just added it so the onion simmers properly and the smell the smell from the onion goes away I don't really like the smell of onion at first but once it's simmered it smells really nice so I'm adding some Asian spice I have um, put it on the screen so you can have a look of what I've added of what um, well measurement I've used so I've mixed everything properly and um, I hope everything was clearly displayed on the screen so I'm just I've just added the um, spices to the onion and I will simmer it all together but please make sure you at least add a few drops of water when you're simmering spice because you don't want it to burn and um, obviously you want it to simmer nicely and then have a lovely aroma to the curry and the more you simmer the um, spice in the onion the better it tastes so I do simmer for about 10 minutes so simmer the spice in the onion for about 10 minutes and then I will show you what to do next so I've just added a bit more water so it doesn't stick because with casserole dishes um, it does stick a little bit so here I've just added the mince that I got ready earlier so I've washed it thoroughly and then put it in a colander for over an hour now to strain out the water so I've just added that to the spice to the onions um, masala and I have Put in the potatoes as well because I've not boiled the potatoes it's still raw so I don't I want it to um, sweat down with the mince 
completely. You can do the same with um, lamb meat or beef. But I've um, used chicken because in my house everyone loves chicken. And now I will add paprika to enhance the colour of um, the curry and then give a bit of heat to it as well. So I've already added chilli powder but now I'm adding paprika as well. Just because um, paprika, paprika makes curries and um, anything look really beautiful and really um, goldeny red, really nice. So as you can see, it looks really lovely and um, I've added, well, the chicken has released water, so I've not really had to add any water. And it's simmering away. I've put the lid on and I will simmer that for um, at least 15 minutes. So now it's been 15 minutes, I'm just adding the tomatoes. I'm not going to slice it down because they're very small tomatoes, they will sweat down anyway and soften up. The cherry tomatoes do melt down really quickly, but luckily the small plump um, tomatoes, they look like they're going to melt really um, quickly or, or soften down really quickly, but luckily they've not softened down as much as the um, cherry, cherry tomatoes. So I'm adding the coriander, I've just cut it up in little pieces with scissors today i've not really actually um cut it so fine so i've not chopped it really fine i've actually kept it in big chunks so it looks nice and you can actually see it in the curry i love that green color with all the yellow red the mints and everything so now i will prepare the tagliatelle so me and my um son zane we will have it on, um, have our curry with um, tagliatelle and Afshin will have her vegan pasta. This is vegan pasta and I, we buy it from Tesco's. It's egg free, gluten free. So I will boil that down for Afshin but I will obviously change with the water. Um, I, so I'm not going to boil it in the same water as I've boiled our pasta. And I just wanted to show you the difference of the normal pasta. This is the normal pasta, the eggy pasta that we buy from um, the supermarket and the other one was Afshin's pasta. So I've boiled down the pasta and always make sure to salt the water and always pour your pasta into hot boiling water, not cold water. So here I've just served up Zane's food and Alhamdulillah it looks so nice, really beautiful. and. We just can't wait to eat it and the smell is so nice and you can see it smoking. It looks so appetizing and, and we've obviously enjoyed this meal and Zane loved it, kept on saying thank you to me. <laughs> it's really nice when you make um, something for your children or for your partner. If they like it then obviously it makes you happy as well. So I've got it all ready, I hope you try this recipe. And if you do like the recipe, please let me know how it was. And if you've enjoyed watching my video, please give this video a like. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and put the notification bell on so you can be notified.